This episode of Taz I Help is brought to you by Lynda.com. What's up guys, Amazon just wrapped up their event where they announced their new Amazon Fire Phone. It's their new smartphone, so in this video, I'm gonna be telling you all the details and everything you need to know. Now I'm notes here on my iPad mini, so if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. So here it is, the Amazon Fire Phone. On the front, it's got a 4.7 inch screen, which is of course Gorilla Glass 3, and that screen actually displays 590 nits of brightness, and it's got a circular polarizer, so you can look at it outside without sunglasses on at any angle. As far as the specs, it's got a quad-core 2.2 gigahertz processor, Adreno 330 graphics, and two gigs of RAM. The camera on the back is 13 megapixels. This camera actually does pretty well in low light. They showed the same picture taken from a camera of an iPhone 5S, an Amazon Fire Phone, and a Galaxy S5, and the Amazon Fire kind of looked better and sharper. Over on the side of the phone, there's actually a dedicated camera shutter button. Uh, so you just press it once and the camera will open and then you press it again and it will take a picture. For all of your pictures, Amazon is going to give you free, unlimited photo storage on the Amazon Cloud Drive. That's pretty cool. As far as the audio, it's got dual stereo speakers with Dolby Digital Plus surround. They also made some new headphones for the Fire Phone that comes along with it, which have a flat cable so they won't tangle easily, and it pretty much looks like Apple's earbuds except black. Second screen and x-ray will both work on the Fire Phone so you can fling a video to your Amazon Fire TV, and then x-ray you can pull up to give you the details of everything you're watching. And of course, most of the major content apps are available, uh, Hulu, Netflix, HBO Go, uh, and ESPN. And Amazon's new music streaming service, Prime Music, also works with the phone. Amazon said they put a lot of attention into this phone uh, to make sure that it is good for reading. So pretty much it means easy on the eyes. So you can look at your phone uh, for hours at a time and just sit there and read and it's not gonna kill your eyes. They're really trying to make the point that this phone isn't just about hardware, it's about the Amazon ecosystem. When you buy this phone, you're buying Amazon. You get everything that Amazon has all in one on your smartphone. Amazon also included Mayday in the Fire Phone. So if you're having problems or you need help or support or anything with your device, uh, you can actually have someone come on your device and control it and help you out that way. A new feature they announced for the Fire Phone is called Firefly, and this is actually really, really cool. Uh, the way this works is you point your phone at an object, whether it be a CD or a painting or a URL or a, a picture or just anything, whatever it may be. You point it at it, your phone will automatically detect what it is. Uh, it does this all through the Amazon Cloud. It's supposed to be really fast and then it will tell you what that is and allow you to buy it right from your phone. So you pretty much point it at something, it detects what it is, and then you can buy it. Super simple. And Amazon went as far as putting a dedicated Firefly button right on the side of the phone. Now, they didn't really make clear in the live coverage, but I think this may be the same dedicated camera button that I was talking about earlier. It's not gonna be just for buying stuff though. They're also gonna open it up so developers can like develop for it and integrate with it. Uh, so you can pretty much just take a picture of anything and get information about whatever it is. Before the event, if you heard any rumors about the Amazon smartphone, you knew that it was gonna involve 3D somehow, and they kind of came through on that. The Amazon smartphone has kind of a 3D interface. It's not actually like pop out at you 3D. I'll do my best to explain it. It's more of like the iPhone's 3D. If you guys have seen, uh, when you have your iPhone or your lock screen, if you've updated iOS 7, when you move your, your phone around, the background is kind of moving. It's sort of like that. The Fire Phone actually has four cameras right here at the front. These work no matter what the lighting is, whether it's completely dark or daylight outside. It's got like infrared lights in there if it is dark uh, so they can see you. And it is tracking your face at all times, no matter what. It's tracking your face. Even if you're not near it, it it's looking at your face. I'm kidding but still. It's also kind of like the Galaxy S4 and 5 because uh, they're also tracking your face. Now the way this does it, it's actually tracking where your face is in proportion to the phone and it's going to be like when you're moving your phone around or tilting your phone in proportion to your face, it's going to be moving little objects and, and icons and stuff around on the screen to give you a, a different view uh, depending on which angle you're looking at it, if that makes sense. So imagine how it looks when you're tilting your iPhone around and the background's moving except when you're moving your face or when you're tilting your phone in proportion to your face all kinds of stuff is gonna be moving on the screen. You'll also be able to use tilting as a gesture in this phone, just like the S5, uh, where you can like tilt it away from you and it'll uh, start scrolling through like a post or an article or something like that. Uh, or if you're in like a game, he was showing where he was like looking around a level by like tilting his phone and stuff like that. Uh, so pretty much they're making it not exactly 3D, but kind of appear to be 3D. Unfortunately, Amazon's new Fire Phone is going to be exclusively uh, on AT&T. You can get it for $199, and that is for a 32 gigabyte phone uh, with a two-year contract, or if you have AT&T Next, uh, it's $27 a month. You can pre-order it right now, and it's going to ship on July 25th, and if you do buy an Amazon Fire Phone, you're also gonna get one year uh, included of Amazon Prime service. So that's pretty much 100 bucks off if you're already an Amazon Prime member and you plan on getting this phone, 
$100 free. So there you go, I'm pretty excited for the Amazon Fire Phone. I'm probably gonna be getting one, of course, to do videos on it for you guys, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, so you don't miss those when they come out. I'm not gonna lie though, I have used the phone in my hands, and I'm kinda worried uh, that Amazon is going to fail horribly at these new tilt gesture and 3D features uh, they're putting in the phone. The Galaxy S5 had them, and they weren't that great. I turned them off. The iPhone 5S has the background tilting feature, I turned that off. I just don't really like these type of features. So hopefully, uh, Amazon does it differently than they do it, and actually does it well. All right, so there you go. There's the recap of the Amazon event today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and let me know what you think about the Amazon Fire Phone in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button down below. Again, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Now, before you head here, let's take one last look at our sponsor for this video. Peace. You can learn it at lynda.com, an online learning company with more than 77,000 video tutorials to teach you software, creative, and business skills. Memberships start at just $25 per month and provide unlimited 24-7 access to top quality video courses taught by expert instructors with real world experience. You can learn anywhere, anytime, and at your own pace. They got everything from bite-sized tutorials to comprehensive courses in web design, programming, design, photography, business, audio and video, and 3D and animation. With new courses being added every week, their training library keeps pace to today's fast-changing technical and software skills. You can save and prioritize your courses in your queue for when you're ready to watch, and you can track your progress in each. And you can even learn on the go with their optimized mobile site or their iPhone and iPad app for members. So if you want to check it out, just go to lynda.com slash tie and you'll get to try it out for free for seven days. Again, the URL is lynda.com slash tie.